is Molly. I am here with uh, your weekly, I'm going to give you your weekly spirit animal guide. And then I'm also going to give you your weekly love message. This is just what popped out, you guys. What I did was uh, I was listening to, okay, so uh, when I was getting ready to do this, Man in the Mirror uh, by Michael Jackson popped in my head. So I put it on my phone, put my headphones on, listen to it, and pop this story. So let's see who this story is for. I've got uh, all the signs in here, except the ones that are already done. Who's this story for? Whoa. Okay, so let's see here. I feel like I have to look at these because all of these threw out, flew out. Okay. Who's this story for? It's this one. Libra. Okay, Libra. This message is for you. Libra, uh, I wanted to show you too, over here, when I was uh, putting the deck down, Libra, this kind of top story just kind of did that. And so I looked at it, and it looks like, Libra, somebody has healed. Uh, they have found freedom of the mind. Uh, and they're looking at, and then the other person is also uh, a I get slice, S L I T H, slice, T H maybe E. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> All right, so this purse, both of these people are healed. Okay. They're both healed. There could be a Leo at play. All right, Libra, Libra. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Okay, so Libra, here we go. We have somebody who is, okay, so this could be you or your person, Libra. Uh, somebody who has strategized something. Uh, in the past, they may have totally crashed and burned. But now, their third eye is opened. They're trying to make a judgment call. They have done purging. Uh... They've taken a good look at the people in their life that uh, are helpful to them, come in and help them and uh, hang out with them when they need them. People who are just reevaluating different people in their life, people who stay back and just kind of um, hang around them for their name, I get. I don't know what that means. All right. And then they see somebody as a mermaid. A mermaid for me is a psychic, a, a very special spiritual person, somebody who... Uh, just kind of uh, stays away from this, all this kind of stuff. And they're making a judgment call about that, Libra. Somebody wants to bridge the gap with Lady Godiva. Lady Godiva is a very giving person. This is somebody who bears it all for the uh, best of the community. Uh, this person... Uh, the other person is coming back around. They're showing up as the goose. They want to uh, put the top hat on for Lady Godiva now. They want to leave whatever vampiric uh, energy vampire actions that had happened. They want to leave that in the past. And they want to uh, come toward and bridge the gap with Lady Godiva. Um... Spirit has come in and helped both of these people. One is showing up as the Jolly Green Giant. The Jolly Green Giant is a very uh, self-assured person, a tall person. This person may like to grow plants, garden, etc. Uh, the other person is showing up as a beautiful work of art. This person realizes now what a beautiful work of art they are. It took a while, but Spirit did help them. It uh, took three main Spirit Guides to help this person. Okay. It took so many spirit guides because this person had uh, a lot of toxicity in their life, a lot of childhood wounds, probably maybe for both people. Uh, and there may be some communication between the two now uh, because the gap is going to be bridged. Okay. Somebody wants to talk about stopping... Uh, uh, king the car. Okay, so what king the car is, uh, metaphorically, is this uh, angry rhino is very, very angry. And so he runs and he takes this horn and he runs it all along your car. And he keys the car because he's so angry. Uh, but this person realized, and that's like uh, metaphorical, that's emotional anger, and it's like a metaphorical car. So this person wants to stop king the car. Uh, they see it, it is toxic and 
awful behavior. They don't want to do it anymore. They have released whatever that is. Uh, somebody's strategizing some more. They see somebody as a very spiritual, kind person, somebody who is very talented in whatever they do. Uh, they have a special and unique gift in whatever they do, and they help and share it with others. And somebody, uh, this person is showing up as a phoenix who is rising from the ashes. All right, Libra, there is your weekly love message. All right. And now, Libra, I'm going to uh, pop your spirit animals. So, Libra, uh, what this means is whenever, for like the next week or so, whenever you see this uh, animal, it doesn't have to look exactly like this, uh, whatever the animal is, uh, whenever you see it, that is a little nod that spirit is trying to give you a little heads up, a high five, let you know it's with you. All right, so uh, let's see. What is Libra's spirit animal for this next week? You can see this can be a live animal. This can be in print, on TV, in a book, any form of it. All right, so Libra, this one is a little going to be a little bit more in depth. Okay, so your animal is the crow. Uh, so Libra, uh, crows are quite common. Uh, what we want to... Uh, maybe look for Libra is a crow that is doing something odd a crow that is catching your attention in a unique way all right well there you go Libra peace out have a great week